Hey y'all, hey, what's up? So today, you know, what's today? Monday, Monday evening. So I just wanted to make this last video for today and part, I want y'all to like sleep on this, right? I want y'all to know the personality or who you think you are is really not who you are. Who you are is basically the person who had to cope with the amount of abuse that you had to deal with from whoever, your friends, your family, your job, whoever is from. So now you created this certain, because a lot of people move the way that they move because they're in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode, that's literally all you know. You don't know what it's like to actually be comfortable, peaceful, stable, certain things, right? Until you start producing that and creating it for yourself getting your mind right then you getting your heart space right and then everything else is going to line up right so i just want to let y'all know you know because i know like in the beginning of me learning about narc abuse it was such a shocker you know i was like how could my mom treat me like this like i'm your one and only daughter like you know what i'm saying and, and you did this and you said this and look it's to the point now that I've healed so much, she don't phase me. Now, do I want her in my life? No, because when a person tells you, well, that's your mama or that's your daddy, that's your sister, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, your grandparents, whoever, so what? Show me in the Bible where God said, stay in that toxic relationship, continue to be abused. God doesn't want you to be abused. He doesn't. This is why he puts you in a, in a position to um, basically be abused because nine times out of 10, y'all, let's be real. I'm going to be real with y'all. So y'all need to be real with me and yourselves, yourselves most importantly, because <clears throat> people who lie to themselves, they're going to lie to you. So you got to be truthful and honest with yourself. I had to go through the process of being legit honest with myself and it hurt my feelings to be honest but the honesty had to occur in order for growth and healing to occur so i want y'all to know like you know in your healing process and your journey be honest with yourself you know how do you feel when you are around a certain individual what goes through your mind you know when you are around or in engaging with a, a specific person because the signs is there you know, and then particularly in romantic relationships, because I hear it from both sides. I hear the men's side. I hear the women's side. But the signs of crazy are there. <laughs> They're there. You just you just putting on your glasses like I'm going to the carnival with, with all the red flags around looking crazy. Then, then when everything turns into a shit show and blows up in your face, you wondering how you got there. Because you went on a roller coaster anyway, knowing that you just ate and there's a potential that you could throw up. Now that you're throwing up, you know what I'm saying? Now you just feel terrible. You know what I'm saying? It's okay though. We live and we learn. Grow. That's, that's what we're here for, to grow. You know what I'm saying? Nobody on this earth asked to be physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, or spiritually abused nobody asked for that you know what I'm saying so as much as like my mama got on my damn nerves and all the shit that she didn't did oh I, I forgave her I didn't forgive her for her she's still a bitch but I forgave her for my heart space so that I could move on with my life and that's exactly what I'm doing because I'm telling you when they leave your life or they tell you to get out and leave and you do, they going to regret it. Not you, because they're the ones in darkness. You know, they're, they're like moths to a flame, drawn to your light, but at the same time, they hate your light. They wanted to stay dark, but they refuse because they want you to go into darkness just like them, but you ain't doing that. You know, they have to want to change. And we know that these toxic narcissistic people don't want to change. And you know what? I was just listening to a little IG or TikTok um, where this, I guess he was a pastor. He was up there preaching and he was like, you know, even the church tells you 
to cast people out, out of the church and to stay away from these types of people. But does the church cast these types of people out? No. Well, well, God, you know, welcomes everybody. Look here. Don't be falling for all that because I don't care what nobody say. God, <laughs> I'm going to use a Care Bear analogy, y'all. Everybody thinks God is this, you know, magical wizard man in the sky. And he's just this soft teddy bear, you know. Oh, God loves everybody. Really? He loves everybody? He don't love everybody. He don't love the wicked. When it comes to the wicked, he becomes an intensive Care Bear with an iron crowbar about to crack some heads. That is how God rocks y'all i don't give a damn that's how i picture it in my head you know these evil people in the world they look at god as this as this little soft ass teddy bear until he get that crowbar and he just start going mobbing people up being like you know on some italian mob shit out here fucking 